In this video, we're having a look at the Eastern ACC Arrow. So the Eastern ACC Arrow has been around a long time um, and it's such a brilliant arrow. Now you may already own these, um, you may have previously owned these, or you may be looking to find out further information as you may be looking to buy some. So what are we dealing with? Well, the ACC is basically, um, it's a carbon fiber, carbon outside being that sort of bonded to the, uh, to an alloy core tube inside. It's got a kind of a polished um, carbon finish. Um, you'll find it easy to sort of grip onto if you're pulling it out of a wet target, uh, certainly more than you would do a slippery aluminium arrow anyway. Um, it's got a good straightness. Uh, the weight tolerance is pretty good plus or minus half a grain um, several different um, components to add on to the arrows and we'll look at those separately and it has the uh, knock bushing is installed already which is brilliant if you're building them yourself it's a completely parallel arrow and uh, finally it's made in the usa now eastern originated carbon arrows all the way back in 1982 but it was actually the um, Eastern X7 aluminium shafts that won the Olympic Games in 1972 um, when then archery returned to the modern games. Now, they also won the games in 1976 and 1980, but Eastern's first carbon AC shaft um, was used to win the 1984 Olympic Games and uh, they've won uh, every Olympic title since then with the ACE taking the titles in 1988 and 1992. Well, since then, it's always been the X-10s that have kind of won. But uh, in 1990, Eastern introduced the affordable uh, and high-performance ACC shaft. Now, the ACC uh, part actually stands for um, aluminium or aluminum uh, carbon competition. And it was uh, personally designed by Jim Easton. Now it started life um, with 12 original shaft sizes and then uh, three more were kind of added. Uh, these were kind of weaker spine sizes, uh, which were added a few years later. Um, so in total now there are 15 uh, spine sizes. Basically that ensures that, you know, there's an arrow spine in the ACC range for nearly kind of every archer out there, which is brilliant. Now, ACC still uh, represents one of the most accurate, easily tuned, durable, safe and high performance carbon arrow shafts that have ever been made. Um, like all of Eastern AC shafts, it also, is also made in the US um, at the Eastern factory in uh, Salt Lake City in Utah. The custom design of the ACC um, creates a low drag, it's high performing and uh, it's got an incredible spine and weight precision to it as well. Um, the custom uh, aluminium core allows point and knock components to be installed inside the shaft, which are flush uh, with the shaft wall. So you get the kind of best aer aerodynamic characteristics, really. The high strength 7075 aluminium core provides strength needed to prevent crushing or uh, splitting really of the carbon fiber. And unlike ordinary carbon arrows, the construction of the ACC allows 100% of the carbon fibers to, to run parallel along the full length of the shaft for, and as Easton put it, maximum efficiency, maximum stiffness with minimum weight. Now, when it comes to tuning, the ACC shafts have always been custom spine tuned for extreme spine precision with 100% spine check, uh, 360 degrees all around the shaft and precision electronic weight matching for every shaft. This means that the ACC shafts have uniform, precise spine and weight tolerances within any given size. That means that every size of ACC has a predictable tuning characteristic uh, because the spine to weight ratios of each size are sort of carefully engineered. Now there are eight different custom ACC internal diameters depending on the spine size of the shaft. So you need to know the core tube size to decide on the point selection. 
Now, what do I see as the pros of the Eastern ACC? Well, to start off with, it's a great quality arrow. It is really nice looking, um, really nice quality. Uh, it is an all-round arrow. It is great for outdoors and indoors. So you're going to get a lot of use out of it. Carbon wraps, um, it's carbon wrapped, so it's easier to pull out of targets on a wet day uh, more than aluminium. I think I mentioned that previously. It's also quite reasonably priced for the arrow that you're kind of getting as well, whether you're buying them new in a set of 12 or whether you're buying uh, numbers less than that. It's also kind of easy to find secondhand as well on secondhand selling sites, whether you're looking at sort of Facebook marketplace archery sites or people selling them on eBay. Um, there's quite a few out there. And the great thing is if you break one of these, um, you can buy them singularly, which also means that you're not kind of fixed to buying 12. If you bought them new, you could buy six, eight, 10, and then add to them if you needed to. There's a lot of spines out there is the next point. I think it, I think the spine uh, chart kind of covers most archers, really. You'll find a spine for you for you out there. And there's lots of different knock manufacturers as well. Obviously, the it's a one-size kind of uh, fitting knock. Uh, you normally have the Eastern um, small G-knock in there, but there are other offerings from other uh, manufacturers, knock manufacturers out there, if you don't like the Eastern uh, knocks they're also easy to maintain um, the points fit the went really well and they're easy to glue on the fletchings now the fletchings you, you really the choice is yours whether you want what sort of size um, veins you want on there whether you want feathers um, plastics uh, different types uh, shield veins etc there's no limit to what you can stick on there. And they glue on pretty easy as well because you've got a nice cut sort of carbon, nice gluing bond onto the carbon there as well. So here's the Eastern uh, spine chart for the ACCs. You can see you can go all the way from the top there on a 1500 spine all the way down to a 300. So there's lots of choice in here, really. This chart also kind of shows you um, what point inserts um, to buy with the arrows as well, because the diameter of the arrows uh, does vary between the spines. The 500 spine will be slightly fatter than, say, the 750 spine. Now, what does the what does the numbers on the actual shaft mean? These shaft descriptors. Well, you've got three numbers on there. The first one denotes the number of carbon wraps actually on the arrow. The second one is the core tube diameter. And then the third one is the actual static spine value. As in when you see 3 1856, there's your three numbers or 3L and then 18 and then 620. So let's sort of go through those a bit more in detail. So let's take 318560 as an example. So in this instance, three, the first uh, number there is the number of carbon wraps on the arrow. The second number, the 18, is actually the diameter of the core tube. So it's a 0.218 diameter in this example. And 560 on the end is the standard spine value. So Okay, so we've got that. But what about if you've got like a 3L on there? What, what does that mean? Well, in that example, it means that there's less than three full layers of carbon fiber used. Um, it's actually about 2.7. Now, there is one series of the ACC shafts that's built on the 0.204 core. It's got three different spines. Now, if you see there, it's a 304, 6, 680, 750, and 830. Now, they'd all use the same um, points, but in this case, um, obviously in the first example, we've got three, so three layers. Then with the 3L is less than three layers in the middle, and then the 3X, well, the X means um, it's even thinner carbon jacket than, than um, say, the 2.7. It actually means, let's say, it would be less than 2.7, but more than 2. So in this instance, I th it says it's actually 2.3. 
So these are the um, ACC components. And this image is taken from the Eastern catalog, which is available um, to view online. You can usually sometimes get this sent to you as well uh, from different archery retailers. Really great book, actually. I've still got my it's on a 2017 um, version that I still sort of look back as a reference. Now, you can get the ACC nib point on the top left there, which is a bit of a sharper point. You've got the uh, RPS point, which is a screw-in point. So you'd need the kind of RPS insert there as well to go with that. Um, but the one most kind of commonly used is the one on the top right, which is the ACC one-piece parabolic point. Now these come in different sizes. Um, so you've got to basically check, make sure if you're building up your own that you order the right uh, one uh, for your diameter shaft uh, to match the numbers on the arrows. So if you were picking points for your ACC arrows on that, you'd need to really go back to um, this chart and look at the sizes. So on the left, you've got your size or name of your arrow. Um, and then you've got the spine in the third column. And then on the far right, you've got the point inserts that you would fit into those um, arrows. So make sure that you uh, order the right one. Now they also come in various uh, point weights as well. You normally get a choice on there between kind of a 60 grain to uh, 100 grain points on these. And Eastern do uh, normally tell you what is the kind of recommended point weight for a certain shaft. And did you know that on these um, ACC points, you may find that there's uh, rings on the ends of the point that sort of is closer to the actual shaft. Now they denote the actual weight. Um, so you may find that there are about, well, there are about three or four different weight choices in uh, points for each uh, shaft size. Now, what you may find is uh, the 60 grain point, for instance, has no ring on it at all. Um, whereas the 70 would probably have one ring on the end and the say the 80 grain would have two rings and then the, th the 100 grain point would have three rings going around it. So, I mean, obviously you could weigh them on a kind of a weight, a grain scaled uh, weight machine. But basically, if you wanted to quickly know, that's how they kind of denote. That's why those rings are on there um, to show you what weight the point is without having to take it out and weigh it. Uh, going along the bottom, you've got the uni bushing. Now that is uh, fitted um, as standard, I believe, in all of the spines except for one. So if you're building these up yourself, that's good to know that that's already sort of in there when you receive your arrows. Now the plastic um, half out insert, I've, I've not really heard of this very much actually, and I don't know of anyone that actually uses it, but it's um, a threaded small diameter RPS uh, point insert that's um, usable with three shafts, I believe, the 3L18, the 318, and the 328, or oh, actually in the 339, so four. Um, it provides some ACC shafts to be able to accept screw-in points. Um, part of the insert actually goes into the shaft and a section of the bigger diameter actually extends in front uh, with the appropriate internal thread to accept a standard 832 screw in point or broadheads as well, actually. So moving on to knocks, I mean, the standard um, G knock kind of small is that one in green, the four mil one, which um, weighs seven grains. But it new to me actually is on is the final orange uh, knock, which is this deep six four mil knock at six grains. I had to look this one up actually because I'd not heard of those. It's, it's a, a new knock to me, but it's actually this deep six knock is actually an Eastern um, knock that features a compound um, compatible large throat design. Now it's actually um, apparently supposed to be a bit stiffer and shorter um, and extremely durable, uh, mainly for compound 
compatible arrow ACC arrows really so it's something that you may uh, use if you're using um, an ACC on a compound bow so that brings us to the end of our look at Eastern ACC arrows I hope you enjoyed the video if you did uh, give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel as there's lots more videos to come thanks for watching see you soon